Yeah, and right now, for me personally, if I'm blind, I don't see the names. Mm -hmm. I don't see the IGNs. I don't see the flags. I don't see anything. I'm just looking at the draft. Blacklist International, they have an amazing draft. Like, yep. based on the draft itself, it's... You know, it's looking pretty clear that they have a pretty good advantage going into the game before the game even starts. Yep, it's, it's just a clean approach. I mean, you have the Eve and Ruby in mid. And already, it's a straight line. I'm sorry, Gideon. <sighs> they, they, they just did not budge. Uh, I was hoping they would draw donuts in the sand, but I guess I'll have to wait until after group stages. But in the meantime, <laughs> I think we have to also kind of think of where does Malvinas Gaming kind of seep through the cracks? What are they trying to do is the question. Exactly, how will they try to add points or just break the straight World line. Mm -hmm. Game Legends. time, ladies and gentlemen, Blacks International versus Malvinas Gaming. If Blacklist takes this, it's, it's a clean group stage for them. But if Malvinas Gaming able to make them bleed right now, then what an upset. Here we go, looking at the rotations, looking at the side lanes, Singh and Edward. It is usually a win for the Barats. Well, it really depends on what the goal and objective is. But so far, after pushing over the mid lane, Haji is taking a lot more damage than he should. Forcing him to recall early to contest with this Litho Wanderer is kind of a good idea because this should be pretty easy for Quinn to get. Ah, uh, yes, he did get it. I had to hold my breath there for a second. Didn't <laughs> see the Litho Wanderer appear by his side immediately. Woo! Litho Wanderer early on. Wise looking to correct that. What might be the situation here? Lancelot versus Nathan. It, it looks like the Nathan is just going to puncture straight on through and take down the time space walker. Uh, is that going to be the case here, Gideon? Do you see it's an easy road for Quinn? Mm, I don't think it's going to be as easy as what people would mention, especially since Blacklist International wants to punish people like Iridian on this top side. If Sefi matches the Queen every step of the way and play off of that information and keep this 50-50, that's a good start, but they're going to need a snowball effect to happen. And I don't think there's anybody on the side of Malvinas' gaming in terms of their draft, except for maybe just Steffi, who can set that up for him. I love how Steffi actually picked the Matilda here to help confirm kills with Adrian. Oh. But now Haji's in trouble. First blood's gonna be drawn. Steffi takes him down. Would have been better if it went to Adrian, but a kill is a kill, gold is gold from Malvinas Gaming. Mm -hmm. They need to get the snowball as quickly as possible. If they have to give it to the Lancelot, that's no big deal because now Oh My Venus is in a little bit of trouble and that's what they want to do. Push out that mid, play for, towards that gold side. When you have that pressure, come down to Turtle. Yep, first Turtle already up. Priority going over to a Blacklist oh. International. But look at this top lane. They're bearing down on Ohim. We don't care if you score the Maniac. You're answering to us now. Two minutes in, 15 seconds, a third of the health here on this turtle. That's going to go over to Wise Turtle Slaying, brought to you by SCV Singapore. Cash made possible. Did you know that Singapore is not just one island, but 64? 64. 64. That, I just learned that very recently. They got 64 offshore islands, including Sentosa, the one that we're staying at, Pulau Ubin, and Sister Islands. That's amazing. But right now, looking back into the game, Malvinas game, it all looks like Quinn is in danger. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Haki's got Ohim's back, but just the same step, he could give a shield here to Quinn, dash out to safety. I, I like how despite Blacklist's take on the turtle, Malvina still understands that we can kind of push it further. Yeah, mm. the thing is, what I like about this game, right? Malvinas Gaming, they won the lane. Early game control on the lane has been very good for Malvinas Gaming, and it and when Blacklist International, they took the turtle, they didn't even try to contest it just because they know if they go for the turtle fight, they're actually going to lose. Right now, looking at the itemization, Harley is going for... Oh, it looks like Zig is going to go down and that's a kill for the Queen. Maximum range and they're looking to trade up top. Malvinas Gaming trying to spot out Ohe, but Haji's got his back. And they're going to let it happen. They're going to let this through. It's a three-man, make that a four-man. Koopa counts. Push. Early on, three minutes in, they're gonna take down this turret. No more shields. Mm -hmm. That just shows how much pressure Malvinas Gaming put here. Blue Gideon, how is it gonna affect Oheb's farm? Well, honestly, I, let, let's not even talk about Oheb's farm. Malvinas Gaming right now, it feels like this is rehearsed. It feels like they've done this a lot of the times. These rotations are a little too telegraphed for their side. In Blacklist International, Red it feels like they're following into this. Destroyed. They're trading side by side, but Malvinas seems extremely prepared. Red oh! But they slain. find some refuge in mid. There's a push in bottom, and now they're going to try to make some way in mid. Blacklist International trying to reclaim and show us exactly where this 1,000 gold lead is coming from, 3 to 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but coming back to Oheb's farm, yes, he's going to lose a little bit, but as you mentioned, the retribution is great on his side, getting two kills, allowing him to try and stabilize. 
Yeah. Uh, Wise is actually not dying. Again, we talked about how the Lancelot should be giving him hell. This is great now. Oh, Phantom Execution coming in. Haji answers with the I'm offended, keeping him in place. That's the Queen with the real world manipulation. Steffi answers back with the Circling Eagle, and they're all still alive. What discipline from Malvinas. Oh, I don't know about you, but I am, uh, oh, I'm squeezing my butt cheeks here, man. This is, this is not easy. This really is not easy. And especially if you are a Latam fan, you got to be breathing heavily on this one. See, he's not going to let this happen, but you can see that Oheb, he has that pressure now. And so far, oh, he does not miss these shots. Redder, maximum range. We've seen it down bottom on Oh My Venus. And up top, the Prince does exactly the same. The mechanics of Blacklist International, it's being put on show here. And the way Malvinas answers, I gotta agree with you, Gideon. It seems to be in the macro. They're showing off their mm -hmm. macro chops. If it's not micro, it's gotta be macro. And now Turtle <laughs> is gonna be contested. And Malvinas Gaming slowly looping around, hopefully to contest. And it looks like it's gonna go over to Wise one more time. Real manipulation, keeping Red Quinn down, and he slain. bites it. That's why he's taking the kill. Another one for Oheb. Steffi oh looking low. The Void Crystal helping Wise confirm the kill. Adrian's walking away. Detna's welcomed by Singh. You go under the turret, but Wise is gonna survive none of the less. Oh, another oh. one. Three to four and none. The turret's gonna follow through. Blacklist ain't done. Oh my goodness. Oheb does not miss. Does not miss with Renner. This man. He, you think that you're playing a top-down view? No, he's playing an FPS. <laughs> yeah, right now, I kind the way that I'm looking at this game, it kind of feels like I just gotta shut my brain off and just admit that giving Eve to Oh My Venus and giving Beatrix to Oheb is just it's just the reason why they're looking so good right now. In fact, let's look at the replay. And actually, based on their draft, they can win basically 80% fights around the, the Riverside because again, look at that rage on their real world manipulation. Anyone stuck inside, especially when we're looking at the Lancelot. Lancelot cannot do much. He's going to take a lot of damage. And then look at this, Oheb talking about damage. It just happened again. Uh, th th there's no explanation. It's just Oheb now. He he's smelling blood in the water and like a shark, he's just going to go and Honestly, like a hammerhead shark, and the difference is his eyes are like direct. They're not. They're not put side to side. Nope. It's directly in front. He does not miss at all. Straight up. Oh my goodness! But look, Malvinas Gaming. They understand. Like, yes, we are bleeding out a little bit, but let's try to you know staunch this bleeding. We still have a late game we can play for, and maybe we can hold on strong. Haji actually missing the alt there, which is great for Malvinas Gaming because now they have an open window to start pushing out and looking for opportunities. Yep. Time it out. I believe Haji overthought it. Like, <laughs> he, he, he overthought it and he was looking for the bait, but it just wasn't there. Oh my, Venus now picking up the genius wand. Team Ooh. fights are going to hurt now. Team fights are going to hurt and Malvinas is not going to be able to just pull the same fist-clenching discipline play. Something's going to go. Something's got to go. Yeah, and now the siege has already continued on to that mid-tier too, and that's what they want to do. Team fights like Blacklist always is. Oh, there goes Koopa. Not going to save Adrian. Oh, Heb is godlike. 701. It's like his farm. It's like his turret wasn't even taken down in the early, man. Now Singh is going to get a little bit of revenge. Haji taken down as well. 2 for one here. Blacklist may have overstayed their welcome. Goodness. They're doing such a good job overall. Like, Stephanie is trying his absolute best to kind of create that space for Malvinas Gaming so far. But Blacklist International, their side laners, I mean, you got to give it to both Oheb as well as Edward. They are just making, they're doing everything here. Like, oh my, Venus is here's the kill zone. Haji's like, I'll keep him in here. The rest of you just do the work. I didn't notice Edward did not get any kills. No stats on his Festival of Blood but he's sitting at 0-0-6. Zero, zero so he's good at setting up. He's great at keeping uh, Malvinas at bay. And again, it's like that Barats paquito relationship didn't even exist at all. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's about how oh, they find the initial catch on to Zink, who flickers on out of there. He doesn't really mind the damage. It's like, okay, yes, if I die another time, it's annoying, but Quinn, he needs that space because you can see what Blacklist International is doing again and again and again. Get the side lane pressure and then slowly choke out the economy through the jungle. The maximum range on not only the Renner, but even the Void Crystal, it extends it. Now Oheb switches over to it. They're looking to take down bottom lane, make space for that Lord that's spawning over on the upper left corner of the map. It seems like... As you said earlier, Gideon, Malvinas, it's so orchestrated. It's a master plan, but Blacklist read it back to back. Yeah, I think 
Ah, uh, unfortunately, I think the game plan stops once they fall oh, down oh, here. They immediately oh, find the catch and maybe some kind of retribution. A wise, possibly. Oh no, Quinn came in. Steffi's just wondering where to go! Guys, where's everyone? Inhibitor going Red down in mid. Four members destroyed. of Blacklist make that five look in the end the game quickly. No minions, only the base standing. Steffi, he's not at home in his own base. It's gonna be Harley coming in. Is there time? No, the answer is no. It's over. Blacklist Team International takes game. Oh, what a game that was. Blacklist International just showing off at this point why they are the favorites to win M3.